Good morning. So I want to share a quick, um, a quick vision I had two nights ago. Uh, it was of, I was, I was laying. It, it was like I was. It was kind of dark outside, and wherever I was, it was. Um, I don't know. I didn't see a bed. I didn't see a floor. I didn't see a ground. I didn't. It was dark, but there was. Um, so it either was nighttime or it was spiritually dark. And in a non-sexual way, in a non-intimate, um, well, it was intimate, but it wasn't sexual. Idris Elba was laying on my right side of my body. I didn't even think about this, but I had a stroke, you guys, as I told you about four months ago during my surgery. But he was laying on the right side um, of my whole entire body. I don't know how tall he is, but his head was placed on, um, well, he was laying on top of me, but his his head was was laid at the top of my right uh, chest and I just remember it felt so uh, intimate so com- it felt there was such a sense of compassion there was an intimacy there without sexuality there was peace there was it just felt so one-on-one and I remember just like looking down at him like because if you think that a person that's laying on you like this it, I'm we were fully clothed okay <laughs> okay just say that you would think that a, a person or a man that would that will embrace you he wasn't embracing me. He was just laying on me, almost like a child would. But it was a man. And there was, like, almost a transfer of care of care and peace and uh, loving kindness and uh, everything that you could. So I just was, I remember looking down, like, trying to get a peek at his face or, like looking at him while he's laying on me and thinking, like, is this real? Because if a man <laughs> is that close to you, you would think that um, it's the prelude to something else, okay? But it wasn't that. I, I just was in shock that it, it was just so um, compassionate and so caring. It, the feeling was just so, the intimacy was just so on like 100 and and then I it was I might have had this vision or this uh, experience for probably like 30 seconds I just remember looking at him like you know how you pinch yourself is this a dream (laughs) you know I just remember looking down at him like like is this real and I remember just I looked and I just put my head back down in the in the in the in the vision or whatever and I just accepted it. It was just it was very surreal to me. I've had um other dreams with uh, Idris and I don't know if it's because the information wasn't there or if I wasn't looking hard enough, but I found something that um his name means and I was just blown away. Um it makes me want to go back and revisit those two. And I don't think I've picked those dreams on YouTube. And they were years ago. I have a picture of Idris Elba back in 2018 on my Facebook page. Because um, there are like three actors or were <laughs> three actors slash musicians. That I was like, oh my gosh. Not starstruck or anything. I just thought, wow, you know, these are amazing people. Um, anyway. He was, he is one of the three. So I looked up his name last night. The distractions 
or unreal. <clears throat> anyway, it says, and his name is Adrissa. His real name is Adrissa. Okay. It says, its origins in the Welsh and the African language, which I just not too long found out that he was English. Um, he is, his parents are from um, Africa, though. It means immortal. Okay. So I, it says, also see the related categories of immortal and Welsh. So I did that. Boy names of the immortal theme. Immortal names for baby boys related also with legendary, indestructible, and everlasting with 64 inter entries, okay? Um, sur unsurprisingly, names that mean immortal are frequently linked to the divine. For example, the old Greek name Ambrose means um, immortal and divine. I didn't know that, you guys. Um, indestructible, legendary, everlasting, immortal, and divine. I just want to share that with y'all because I, this was two days ago and three days ago, um, I asked the Lord, <laughs> I asked the Lord, why aren't we out here? It was that morning. It was three days ago in the morning. I was thinking, talk to him in my, you know, to myself. Why aren't we out of here? Like, why can't we go? And the first thing that he told me was, um, he reminded me of unsaved people. And it was swift, <laughs> the reply, okay? And I kind of let it go after that because, like, you know, he's right. It reminded me that there's still unsaved people. So that means that we still need to be spreading the gospel and doing everything that we can to at least put the word out, plant the seed, because at the end of the day, it's the Holy Spirit that, that saves men, okay? We're given a measure of faith to even come into belief. And he's the author and the finisher of our faith. So what he started, he will finish. But we here as ambassadors... And um, representatives and followers of Christ, we, of course, need to plant the seed. And the second thing now in this video is also, I thought this was cool. I didn't think about it to this morning. Um, I told you that the dream that the Lord told me that um, my next follow-up appointment will be immortality. Um I came on and did a video and I showed that that dream is about 95% fulfilled. It took a couple years. Some came immediately or soon after and then some just dragged on the um, confirmations of that. And um, But it's funny because the, the lady wanted me to do, she called me a week and a half ago, the nurse, and she's like, hey, your follow-up appointment is due. And I was like, ah, I don't, you know, no, you know, I don't know about this because this, that, and the third has happened, and I don't know, and it's been six months. So she kind of gave me these dates of the end of the year. And I, I had already told her, you know, that she said, well, a lot of people want to do after the holidays, and but here are some, you know, tentative dates of when you come in, and of course it would be. I think she said the 27th, 28th, 29th. I'm not saying that's when we're going home. I'm just letting you know that this dream fell on one of those days. And it was, it, it was a reminder to me, to me, that, um, yes, the rapture is, is, is very close. Um, and he didn't forget about us, okay? Um, the time of Jacob's trouble is not for us. God's wrath is not, we're not appointed to his wrath, so, um, I just want to share that I'm not going to do it. I have no idea when I'm going to do it, if I do it, if I schedule it, I should say. Because the Lord already told me that um, we'll be going home. Um, I don't have the ability to do it, really. There's a lot behind that. And the fact that I had a show, I don't want them going back and doing anything. 
until I um I did leave her a message a day after that, having forgotten to tell her that I had a stroke. I don't know the doctor told you, um, but this is one of the reasons why um I don't believe it's a good thing right now. All right, I love you guys. Jesus, come and spread the gospel. T- talk to your loved ones. Um, that's definitely been on me, uh, on my mind the last few weeks, regardless, as much as I want to go home, is that there's still people that are unsaved, and we need to spread the gospel to them, okay? Love you guys. I'll talk with you later.